Hey guys, congrats, you got a Gwen stock. I wanted to put together a quick video to show you how to install it. It's super simple, but uh, there's a handful of little tricks that you might wanna, you might wanna know. And uh, after that segment, I'll continue to show how to adjust it and if you want to take it apart and stuff like that. But you probably just need the first two to three minutes of it or so. So this is what you probably got. Two clips on it, on the stock. First things first little thumb screw take that off you'll see there's a washer that's loose the washer is going to go on the outside of it go ahead and set that down for a sec the trickiest part of the whole thing is getting the actual uh, clip flush with the donut so you got to line it up and make sure that the rubber washer sits just flush inside the donut it's really like maybe a millimeter or two uh, larger diameter than the actual donut so it's got to be pretty close there um, don't worry you'll be able to tell if it's not working out and you can uh, you can do it again anytime you need so you see that I just placed it in there so there's no gaps anywhere between the washer and the donut same thing with the top part I usually just drop it in lightly make sure it's sort of flush I'll adjust the size or whatever so it feels like it's flat put that last washer on just like that and then tighten it up. Okay. Just realized that wasn't very lit. It's all right, I'm gonna do it again with the other one. So it doesn't matter if it's oblong, I will uh, adjust that before I tighten it all up. Don't tighten this part down here too much just tighten it to it feels snug it shouldn't move a ton it should still rotate if you really force it but um it should be fairly snug all right same thing again this is the hard part just make sure you get it right in the center there so it feels flat okay just like that drop that in washer on put the washer on and then thumb tight just like that okay that's pretty good check it out on top there it is about as tight as I need it and you're good to go. Remember, uh, your your uh, rod probably has two caps. This is a hard uh, plastic cap, and then this is like a plastic dip. Sorry, this is a plastic dip cap. Uh, this is the side that you want to stick against your HD, uh, HMD. Okay, clip in. That familiar sound. Boom. Clip stock, right there. Okay. So that concludes the installation part of this. Now I'll get into some of the details about how to adjust it if you want to watch. Um, I'm going to show you how to make the uh, tension, uh, to adjust the tension on the clips so it can uh, either clip in harder and stay on harder or uh, be looser on the, the rod. And then I'll give you uh, a little rundown of the components in case anybody needs to um, adjust stuff uh, or take it apart or, or build your own, frankly. All right, so now you got it clipped in. You'll notice, well, maybe you'll notice. They actually slide out pretty easy. I sort of left it at that kind of tension for everybody. But with this model, the new model, you can adjust that tension. So here's how you do that. If you look in here, there's a Phillips head right on in between uh, the clip. All right. All you got to do is stick a little Phillips head in there and go uh, clockwise. And what that's doing actually is there's a, a second washer, a larger diameter washer in here that that screw will pull the actual clip into. So it actually pulls it down into it and it compresses these two arms. So as you pull it tighter and deeper into it, it they compress like that. That makes it a tighter hold. 
So what I like to do for onward, for example, is I tighten up my left hand real tight so I don't have to worry about it unclipping. I only use my right hand to unclip. So you'll see that's way much tighter now. I can actually rotate that all the way around. Whereas the other one, if I put it on, it's not quite as tight. Okay. So same thing if you want to loosen it do it the opposite direction okay so that's usually how i've got it so you see if i try to break the controllers like this or if i try to break it off of the stock hopefully the left hand stays on and the right hand comes off so yep just like that again okay that's how you adjust it all right so that's the uh, the total video for um, anybody who just wants to get on there and use it to its fullest uh, potential. Let me show you real quick what these components are in case uh, somebody's trying to build this or um, it falls apart for some reason. It's basically got the clip. I'll bring it over here. Got the clip, this large diameter washer. Then you've got two of these, which are steel washers with rubber washers backing, just glued on. If they separate over time, don't worry doesn't matter okay and so how I assemble them is clip sorry clip large diameter so these are all painted black in the version you've gotten but just so you can see it here I've left the uh, unpainted ones okay and then you take the screw there's a locking washer that I put at the very top of the screw sorry bolt excuse me drop that in and that goes into the middle. Now the clip will actually sandwich the large diameter washer between the clip and the small, or sorry, and the uh, flat washer. Okay. Then what I do just to secure this piece so I don't have to worry about keeping these held together, I drop a washer on that, a nut. These are um, number eights, by the way, uh, washers and nuts and uh, bolts. Okay, so that's that right there, the component. What I usually do is just crank it down a little bit. You might be able to see the actual clip compressing a little bit there. Well, you can't really see it, but. So that's what that looks like when it's all clipped in. Okay, I adjust this, make sure it's pretty, f pretty straight and centered. Okay, and then this, you already saw that part actually, so that's pretty straightforward. Just like that. Okay. All right, guys. I hope uh, hope you enjoy the clip stock. I'll see you on the battlefield later.